England versus Spain. It's the first Nations League game for England. The first UEFA Nations League game for England. It's against Spain. Now, two strong quality organised World Cup teams going up against each other. Head to head. Yeah, now, England managed to get to the semi-final, finished fourth in the World Cup after losing against Croatia and then losing against Belgium in the third place play Spain didn't do very well. They got knocked out the year around the 16th by the host, Russia. So as I say, there's a lot of things that these players and, well, these two teams need to work on. And obviously we'll find that out tomorrow. The watch along, there's a watch along tomorrow and the predictions are on from now till the kickoff tomorrow, which I think is about eight o'clock or something. Um, and as I say, it's gonna be an interesting game. I think both teams are definitely gonna go for it. It's gonna be really tough. Um, it's gonna be a really tough game. Both teams are definitely gonna go for it. First group game of the Nations League. Um, a bit later on today, um, well, in a bit, I'll be doing the live stream with Aaron Richards, um, basically explaining to all the England fans and stuff around the world and all my subscribers how do UEFA Nations League rules work how it works basically the explanations and stuff with things um because it is confusing and um obviously as I say England against Spain tough 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 game we need to definitely step up to the mark and show them why show them why they got knocked out around 16 and Pendy and why we were semi-finalists in the World Cup a lot of people are saying it's because we had a bit of an easier route, which I don't think we did. I wouldn't class Colombia as an easy team. I wouldn't class Sweden as a team that are easy. Teams that you can't underestimate, basically. And I think when you look, when you look at these two sides, and they're both evenly matched, it'll be a strong game, it's going to be tough, and I would not be surprised one bit if both teams cancel each other out and it ends as a no nil draw. I wouldn't be surprised. But I'm going to go for a, a good, confident prediction. I'm going to go for England 3, Spain 1. I think, as I say, I don't think I don't think it'll be as comprehensive as three goals. I think, you know, if we can get two goals, I think that'd be good. If we can get three, then that's perfect. That's my prediction sorted. But yeah, my prediction's going to be England 3, Spain 1. Get your predictions in the comment section down below. You have until kick-off tomorrow. And I'll see you later with Owen Richards for the explanation of the UEFA Nations League rules.